Um, Hi, this is Rob Matthews. We're here uh, diagnosing Mike's uh, electric scooter, which has some charger issues and battery issues and mechanical issues with the connection. So Mike's uh, Mike is here uh, putting in some of the suggestions that I've had uh, in respect to his electric uh, scooter issues. We've also checked out a number of his old batteries here, which are... Unfortunately, uh, gotten way below voltage. So, they've been tested with a uh, battery analyst as well as a voltmeter, and uh, we found uh, some problems with. So, so Mike, uh, you're on my video blog. <laughs> cool. So, uh, so you're testing. So Eight Mike's got his one. own meter running, and uh, so he's slowly rising. So, I've uh, shown Mike uh, some secret ways of how to problems without having to buy a whole bunch of expensive uh, new batteries. So Mike, did I help you out? Yes, you did a lot. And uh, hopefully we can get more of it done and put this thing on the road again. <laughs> Good. I'd like to see more electric scooters on the road, especially here in Richmond where it's so flat. It's flat. This is a flat place. This is a perfect city for electric scooters. Okay, Mike and Rob, we're out. Here we go. Okay, here we go. On, on the handlebar here of Bobby's bike, there's a light with a attached solar panel, and it, it's gonna it's gonna light up this red light all by itself, um, just because it's in the solar panel. And then there's a white light here. This is a this is a lot like this one. There's a solar panel on top of that, so that it, that's gonna light up by itself too. Personally, I think this is well mounted and this is useless, but such is life. <laughs>